My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how was your weekend? Jim, Zach. I uh, I had a nice weekend. I played some golf. I watched some football. I have a new nephew, Bodie. Ad. And you met him? No, not yet. Oh. A couple weekends. My weekend was good. I called uh, Wiffle Ball for a bunch of uh, 11-year-olds, play-by-play, and then I did nothing on Sunday. Football and baseball happening at the same time. Sports. That was Here Comes the Bride into... Uh, Empire Strikes Back a little bit. We had a wedding in Wrigley, in Wrigley. I surprising, I clicked this link and I was like, you know, proposals, you get that all the time, proposals. And then you get a wedding. Okay, what's it going to look like? They're fully dressed up. She's in a gown. He's in a suit. And there's a priest there. Yeah, gentleman of the church. Confused me because I don't think you can do religious weddings not at a church. That's the whole thing. Kind of like give us money under our roof situation. But it's a beautiful sight. Did they sit in the section the whole time, get up and do it? Did they just walk down there and, and do it? Was it okay? One of their Twitter replies was like, you're allowed to do this? Would have done this? It's kind of genius. Uh, the only thing I would change, they do it in the bleachers, which Wrigley, that's a special place, so I mm. get that part of it. But A, I know you and me have a little bit of like, let's take down the wedding industry. It's got yeah. way too businessy that like, mm. I don't know, you should do this at any game. Like have everyone buy a ticket in the same section have your wedding, and then, mm. boom, you're saving yourself. You got an awesome venue. Nothing brides like less than seeing another bride on their day. Well, you can't have two weddings the same day. Oh, okay. One per game. Come on. Fair. I'm in it. Security, just looking for brides. You a bride? That's not a real priest. Come on. I just want everyone to know that's not a real priest. Are any priests real? <sighs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, some. Some, some. Did this almost a breakdown take place in the same stadium at the same wedding, or is it totally different? It's football. Different sport, different venue, yeah. different event. It's the kick pick. Georgia Bulldogs versus the Ball State Balls. Ooh. Junior outside linebacker Chaz Chambliss. Three, two, two one, ten. eight. Yeah. Eight, yeah. Chaz Chambliss gets his first interception, Jake, off of the guy's foot, so it's thrown... Goes past his head, hits the receiver in the foot. What's the receiver looking at? He didn't know the, they, weren't, they weren't on the same page. They're the Ball State Balls. Like they're the Cardinal. Let me tell my story. Back of his foot, and then he turns and, oh, it's right there. Oops. Look what I found. You don't think he was actually shocked at what he found? A little bit, yeah. First interception ever. He's a senior. You know, he just guards the run. He's not part of passing plays. Ball's in the air. He's out. Jim, I don't want to reveal too much about your game, but you wrote down here, slow-mo replay is awesome. I did. The sl the slow-mo replay of it hitting because the, the receiver like kicks his foot up, which launches it, and then it goes right to him. And Zach, your <laughs> weekly Giants update. Bad. Seat Geek has tickets if you want to go see a game. Go see the G-Men or go see your Texan CJ Stroud. The rookie gets the start. We're excited for him. And he makes a little history like another person who made a lot of history, Brett Favre. In trouble now, I think. Um, but he catches his first pass. That's a hard one to do. First completed passes to himself. Yeah. Favre had that record, I believe. Now now he gets joined. What's CJ stand for? Christopher Christopher John? <laughs> oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Woo! Coleridge Bernard. So he's Coleridge Bernard Jr.? The fourth. So where's the fucking J come from? Jim, in the not sports, you were telling me about your favorite TV show, Howdy Doody. Doody Doody. <laughs> Howdy Doody. Oh, dude, this is a really fun not sports. I, I looked at it. I'm yeah. sneaking. You said no one was going to know. This guy's driving around with a, a steer in his car. Way bigger than you'd ever think a steer in a car is going to be. And the Nebraska police were like, hey, there's a guy driving down the street. He's got a cow in his car. And they pulled him over. It's huge. It's huge. And the car, the 1996 Crown, whatever the police cars were. Victoria. Yeah, they cut. he cut the passenger roof and side off and put a gate so that this howdy doody, howdy doody can, can ride shotgun. I liked this quote from our guy, Lee Meyer. He's got a raspy voice. It's a solid car. So I went and purchased it. Do <laughs> Lee Meyer's real voice. It's a solid car. Mm -hmm. Lee Meyer. A little so, sad. Did you fart? A little sad. It's a solid car. So I went on and I purchased up and beefed up the frame that was under it and the suspension. I like they said he beefed up the frame so he could fit his beef. He, guy knows what he's doing. Yeah. The only reason he did this is because his granddaughter doubted him. Only reason? He said, I had thought about it. I had talked about it. And one of my granddaughters said it was a bad idea and I shouldn't do it. 
So I had to show her that grandpa could do it. Might have been a bad idea, but I did it anyway. <laughs> Eat shit, little girl. Might have been a bad Cops idea. Cops pulled him over, and then they were like, I guess you're good, dude. Yeah. Like, howdy doody, he, he takes him to parades and festivals. This and, is fine, but yeah. you're now the town sheriff. <laughs> you're now in charge. <laughs> it's the employee of the, of the week. week. Boom, it's boom, the boom, boom, employee boom. of the week. It's basically a guy who's not our employee, but he does some fun stuff with us, and it's his kid. And it's not even him. It's his kid. <laughs> Shelfie's four-year-old son hits his yeah. first home run, and will be the show uh, live. Will be the show live. Well, I guess he's done it before, but not like live play. Right. That was a very playing big, online. Playing online. Yeah. That was the, yeah. But it's an awesome video. It's, when he MLB hit, show live is the play that the sound now <laughs> <laughs> when he when he hits it, he turns to uh, Shelby's yeah. dad and just like doesn't even watch it go to the fence. Like, <gasps> yeah, it's really cool. Some good yells. Shelby will be back in the warehouse. So yeah, another not employees, son employees. Congrats, <laughs> Shelby Jr. Shelby the fourth. That was a weekly dumb. Today's episode was sponsored by Sheet Geek. If you don't know what Sheet Geek is, you're dumb in the brain. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek's the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including sports, concerts, festivals, and more. We've got the hookup. Use code DUMB for $20 off your first purchase at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code DUMB. Click the link in the description to download the app. Ready? Oh, no. As the door shuts, stink up the room a little bit. The, wink, the weekly stink. Assault on jet. And you think your fart did that? It's the last thing that happened, really. Added air to the room. Any of you have any wet wipes on you? <laughs>